Have you ever found yourself surrounded by people, yet still in your own head, an event all around you, and yet some part of you is spinning around, wondering and worrying? Hi, my name's Flossie, and I live in this 1999 Ford E350 step van, my tiny home on wheels. Woohoo! Yes, it's full on. Every single moment is worth it. <gasps> I have been having a hard time with my body image. It feels good to take a moment to celebrate a moment, a blip in time where I feel comfortable forgetting all the things that I don't feel in control of. And maybe like you, when you watch my videos, I needed to step back, take perspective, shift my space into a tiny cabin on the beach to get clarity. I am one very sunburnt lucky duck. I had an amazing time on my sail trip and an amazing time coming up next and a huge thank you to my dearest skipper. You are hilarious and wonderful and I had an absolutely amazing time. Thank you for captain, my co-captain. It was lovely to be in a group of us who all have a similar relationship to the ocean, a love for swimming and diving and nature and ocean creatures and the ability and access to learn how to sail. Oh, my heart is so full. I feel so blessed and gifted to have had this opportunity and I'm so excited I got to film it and share it with you. And I encourage you all to try new things or join your local sailing school. You don't have to have a boat quite often. Sailing clubs will often do adult lessons or take people out as crew and you get to learn. I think that's pretty freaking neat. So yes, I'm going to a van gathering, a festival. Unlike me, lots of people. This is a very small one. Um, and so I'll see you all there of the Coast Salish area, that we are uninvited settlers on this land. Take a moment, you can even close your eyes. You can take a deep breath. <sighs> Open your senses. Can you feel the sun on your skin? Can you feel the wind moving your hair? Can you feel the earth beneath your feet? Oh. It's been a beautiful day, a lovely morning, and I'm doing some editing. There'll be bands starting soon, an open mic night. What a beautiful first day to our little pride gathering. <sighs> yeah. Taking some quiet time, it's good. Okay friends, so you're here because you are interested and like watching van life, people living in vans, or van conversions. Well this gathering to me was a really special occasion because I got to wander around and check out all of these different folks in their different tents, campers, wagons, RVs, trailers, oh my gosh. There was such a massive variety and we were all there because we have something in common. A love for being in the forest, nestled in the woods, an excitement to dance our little hearts out well into the night. Sometimes I think we go to gatherings to find friendship, community, connection, learn things. And then other times I really think we go there to find ourselves or to run away from ourselves. What part of ourselves are we looking to make better connections and friends with? What part of ourselves can we find on a dance floor that we cannot find in the forest? What part of ourselves can we find on the road that we can't find in a city? What part of ourselves can we find mirrored back to each other 
from somebody who smiles at you across a campground, a parking lot, or winks at you from across a dance floor? Or is it where you find folks wild enough to be crazy enough to do the things that excite you, to light you up, even if it's skinny dipping in the ocean at midnight? <laughs> In the dark, the excitement takes over. The adrenaline rush. <laughs> I don't care what I look like. I'm coming, I just gotta put my shoes on. I'm just having an absolute blast. And it is so lovely to be doing it with people I care about. I borrowed a bike, cause it's yellow and mine needs battery charged. So everything on me is currently yellow. It makes me so happy. Then we pedaled all the way back to the campground hopped into our individual vans and campers and settled in for a lovely rest of the weekend. Sometimes I think we need moments like these where we can forget the worries of the world. Inside of us becomes re-regulated. We can feel at peace and take care of ourselves. Sometimes this is why I think I have Siren, my step van conversion, because she is my home that I can take with me wherever I need to go to take care of myself. Whoever I need to be around, whatever beach, ocean, campground, woods, forest, I need to be, my home comes with me. Crab that I was gifted by a Patreon. Crab that I catch today. Guac. Salad. <sighs> right, time to feed 10 people. Yum, 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 yum. It was so fun to dive. I didn't take any diving footage because the visibility was like here to my fingers away. It's like diving in pea soup. So I was diving my hand out in front of my face. It's a good and constant reminder that you are beautiful as you are. You are powerful and every part of you is worthy and worth loving. What you have to say is worth listening to. Your hidden talents deserve a stage. The thoughts and feelings that you have, the opinions, the knowledge that you have worked hard to gain are really, really important. You make a difference. Your existence makes a difference to this world in a positive way. On a ferry heading back to Vancouver Island. I have been on Salt Spring Island for the Pride Festival. It's like a big camping, vans, tents. Time to come and chill, hang out. There was lots of music and bands and dancing and markets and workshops and all of the things and it was just really really beautiful um, yeah kind of lovely just to hang out with friends and talk and chill I really appreciate moments of celebration and moments of relaxation and I'm really tired because people talk late and music runs late and you know a van is not as noise proof as a house 
so I've had not as enough sleep but lots of heart-filled moments. I also managed to jump in the ocean and go for a dive. I wanted to do practice with my pole spear but there was a group of us going and one of the beaches around this time of year are often no dogs because they want to protect the wildlife and the birds and things like that. So we switched beaches and I was like, okay, there's no fish here, but there will be crab. And so I got four red rock crab. I did see a Dungeness, but around here we have a lot more red rock crab and very few Dungeness crab. I know down in Washington they have a few more Dungeness because there's so many things named Dungeness in Washington. It really cracked me up in sort of that northern um, coastal Washington. Now I'm back on the ferry and for the next week I will be up in Tofino, Euclid area. I'm going on a four day camping and kayak tour. Um, with my partner and some uh, close friends and it is going to be a really really special trip I'm excited for it and I'm really tired I'm excited for this and it's going to be heartwarming and wonderful and connecting for us as a group and partnership and friends and I'm just really grateful that this is my life like yes I'm always moving yes it's full on yes I cram my life very full but if I go to bed tired and I go to bed happy with a full heart, every single moment is worth it. And back in New Zealand, I had a near-death experience and a er giant earthquake when the New Zealand Christchurch earthquakes happened. So I have lived my life since then in a way that I don't want to let any opportunity escape or any reason that I can't explore and learn and adventure something new pass me by. And if that wears me out prematurely, I don't fucking wow. care. The delight and the enjoyment and the memories of all of it just fill me with so much pleasure. It's absolutely worth it. Thank you so much for being here. It's the quiet moments after all of the hubbub, excitement and buzz and adrenaline dies down and you feel like you've returned to your own some. You're back to being alone. Let me remind you, and myself, capacity and ability and worth should not be defined by the size and shape of your skin. You are not defined by what you can do in a day, but the immense depths of imagination and the wonders your mind can create. You are limitless in your beautiful possibilities. When you take away the silly structures of power and value and how can you make somebody else money or be attractive to somebody else? Who cares? And if I am the most attractive and incredible being unto myself, that light and power will shine and illuminate the world's possibilities into every other one of you. Wear it if it feels good and helps you lean into the excitement of your own possibilities. Don't let the world teach you to be afraid of yourself. Sometimes I like to stay in a tiny house to dream and keep the possibilities of my future alive in my imagination. Exploring this beach, this little tiny cabin was a dream, a break, and a welcome decompression from the madness of the festival I'd just been to. Cozy, quiet, slow evenings around a fire prepared me for sunny days where I'll absolutely not wear bloomers on the beach because nobody can tell me that I am not beautiful in my own skin. Okay, you might be asking, okay, so all of this happened. You did all of those things, you went all of those places, but what changed? How do you feel differently? What about you is looking at life in a different way? And I think it is a matter of perspective and a matter of being kind to oneself in the fact that change doesn't always happen overnight. I'm not going to immediately think of myself and look at myself in a different way, imagining my shape and my value differently. But I am slowly 
working towards an ease of mind and I'm sure that will grow and develop as I get older. And sometimes it's about adventure. Leaving behind a world where we smile and ruminate and compare oneself to each other in ways that do not build each other up. And instead, the trees surrounding ourselves with nature. Nature does not judge. It only asks us to be good stewards. <sighs> it feels really nice to take a moment to myself on the beach. I have been having a hard time with my body image, feeling self-conscious and, you know, I look at my body all the time when I edit videos and sometimes that's challenging and I only show and pick shots that I feel slightly comfortable with. Somehow really focusing on my body and how it feels and what I'm eating it feels like something I can at least have some sort of control over. I know and recognize it's not immediately healthy but yeah that's what's been going on. My body has been going through a bunch of changes lately My hormones have been going through some changes lately. <sighs> it feels good to take a moment to delight, to celebrate a moment, a blip in time where I feel comfortable, uh, a moment where I'm forgetting all the things that I don't feel in control of, all the things that feel stressful, the parts of me that is thinking too much and leaning too heavily into controlling what I eat and how I look because other parts of my life feel a little harder because I'm learning new things and settling into new routines and I'm not quite there yet so yes I feel like I'm skating a little closer to the edge of reactivating an old eating disorder but right now being here at the beach letting the sun warm my skin feels like a moment where all of that is a little forgotten and I can just revel in feeling beautiful and that in six months time in a year's time in two years time when I look back on myself I'll be able to appreciate it and there's beautiful woods <sighs> so next week I head out on an amazing kayak journey with an amazing group of people and I cannot wait to bring this to you next week. That truly opened my eyes and brought me new places and new perspectives. A big thank you to my Patreons for being my constant supporters. I hope you are receiving your mail that I have sent you, your postcards and letters. Thank you all so much for watching. I read and appreciate your comments every week. It brings my heart so much joy. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It makes a big difference to me. Thanks, and I'll see you next week. Bye.